Hi there, I'm Henry from Osran and a few years ago I shared a video on how to level orange peel with a rotary polisher with paired with the denim pad and the Perfect 50 compound. Uh, well, over the past few years, uh, equipment advancement, i.e. the dual action polisher, has made tremendous improvements to its performance and we are now able to level orange peel using the DA. So a, there will be a DA leveling system and that's what I want to share with you today. DA orange peel leveling without sending. Stay tuned and find out. The things you need are very simple. Um, basically, you need a high torque free spinning DA like this one here, uh, our Hurricane 2.0. And uh, you need a thin type denim pad, such as this one over here. All right, and a leveler. So um, anyway, a fast fact check over here. These are denim pads designed for the DA, they are thin. And uh, this one you've probably seen around. These are the thicker ones, which are for the row three. Okay, so you can actually see the difference here. Um, now the thinner ones are actually required it to be thin so that the DA can actually transfer most of its power direct onto the paint to, to do the leveling action, all right? And uh, next thing I want to say is the leveler. Now, not to be confused with a compound or a polish. So a polish is what you use to remove holograms, um, paint, clean the paint a bit. The compound is used to remove sanding marks, it's used to remove soil marks, watermarks and everything. So a leveler is designed specifically to remove orange peel without a sandpaper. Okay, before we begin, um, masking the parts that you don't want to hit is actually very important. So, uh, okay, I'm going to work a small section here to just show you guys how it's done. Uh, I'll be taping off hard edges like this. So I'll just call this a hard edge. Okay, something like this. Okay, um, if you have the thinner, the thinner tapes, that would be great. Um, as, as you will just close off without eating up, eating too much of the, this side over here. Um, if not, um, if you only have this, it's better than nothing. All right. The other things I want to tape up is the protruding edges, like this one here. Okay. So let's just say if you're working on a door panel, um, like you're working on door A, door B, you want to tape up on the protruding, protruding, uh, sorry, the adjacent panels like this over here. And uh, also like, um, I'm afraid I might hit the unpainted plastic over here. So uh, I'll take that up as well. All right, like this. Um, okay, so um, I'll, when it comes to leveling, unlike polishing or um, compounding, you can actually work on a larger area. Uh, when it comes to leveling, without sanding, um, a smaller section is preferred so that you can actually um, you, you are probably required to grind longer um, to sort of level off the orange peel. So um, I'll just tip up an area which I will be focusing on today. All right, like this. This is just, uh, you don't do this when you're polishing the whole car. This is just to show you which area to work on, all right? So um, uh, for brand new pads like this, uh, it's important to prime the pad. So uh, apply a bit of product like this, okay. Just um, spread it with your fingers. All right, just spread it with the fingers like this. So, um, well, the brand new pad is actually prob it's a little bit stiff. So um, you wanna sort of like soften it a little. All right, something like that. Okay, and then we begin polishing. So um, half of this, I'll work half of this first. So one piece size drop. All right, um, speed setting for with our HTFS DA over here, um, I'll be using speed setting number two, um, at most three, which is about 4,000 to 4,005 OPMs on a DA, right? So speed two. Okay, um, that is one pass. Uh, okay, some, some may differ. Some would say this is one pass, but uh, anyway, putting the product one time, polishing until it's semi-clear above enough, let's say that's one pass. Uh, it has removed quite a bit of orange peel already. You can probably see the difference here and here. All right, and the 
the, the level of uh, haziness as compared to the Rotary system is actually very, very, very low. So um, I will continue to work here. Um, okay, it's also important that when it comes to leveling without sanding, uh, you don't want so much heat. Um, heat will actually make the paint a bit soft and uh, it's hard to continue to grind once it's overheated, all right? So you want it to be a little bit, um, how do I put it? Cold and crispy, I, I don't know if it makes sense. Um, cold and crispy so you can just sort of like braid it straight away. So um, you don't want heat, you want maximum contact. So uh, speed is also important. You don't want too fast. Uh, lower speed, like what I mentioned, two to three, but apply a little bit, a good amount of pressure, all right? So I'll, I'll, I'll work this part over here for more illustration. So uh, like you would in any polishing method, um, you want to spread the polish to the desired working surface and then apply pressure or move, go at a faster speed, all right? So um, speed two. Okay. Speed two, sp spread the product. Okay, um, use floor, I, I would personally prefer to use fluorescent tubes uh, as a guideline to see whether it's sort of like level enough. Um, as you can see from the image here, um, uh, the side that are not polished under the fluorescent tube is very wavy and uh, the side that I have leveled, it's much straighter. All right? So um, at this point, you don't need or you don't want to use a Spotlight. Now, under the spotlight, you probably see some light swirls. Um, that would actually confuse you because that is not the main point that we want to get right now. Um, get to the desired level finishing, to the desired level uh, finishing before you actually move on to, to remove the swirls. All right. Okay. So um, it's normal that after this process, there's a slight haze. Um, it is a leveling process anyway. So um, the slight haze can be refined with a blue wool pad with our Neo Compound 46. So um, I'll just remove this tape here. So I want to remove this um, residue over here. All right. Quick check with a pre-coating cleaner or a IPA mix. Okay, so here you probably get three results, which I wanna, which I will pan in and then show you the, the difference. Okay, so here is a factory finish orange peel surface. All right, under the spotlight you could you could see the orange peel. So I'll pan across, I'll pan down. All right. Um, all right, this is, uh, you can see the light has sharpened, uh, the reflection has sharpened, but there's orange, uh, sorry, there's no more orange peel, but there is uh, a lot of swirls or haze. Now, pan down to the place that I've refined. Over here, yep. So this is a finish down uh, level with no swirls. For this A pillar here, uh, which is relatively on a smaller, tighter area, uh, I will use a 3 inch DA with a 3 inch leveling pad. All right. Uh, so this is already seasoned, so um, I wouldn't prime the pad. Now, um, so, I, so like I mentioned earlier, the sharp edge, I would do a tape across here. I will work this part. When I'm done, I will remove the tape and put it here and work this side. All right, after the first pass, there's some improvements, but uh, I think it can be worked 
to get a better, to get a flatter surface. Yep, I will rev up my speed to speed 4. Um, here's another tip I missed out on the other day when I, when I was shooting the Mazda. So um, I want to share on how to polish vertical panels or how to polish the doors and um, fenders. So um, especially when you go to the edge, um, this part here, there's always a risk of burning the adjacent panels. So uh, I would usually do this, open the door a little bit, have it level, um, what's the word? Um, have it lifted up a bit so that uh, I can work towards the edge without hurting this side. So of course, if doors have sort of like closes by itself like S class or 7 series um, you could always open it wider and put a put a block here and work this side so this car doesn't have that just lift it a little bit push it back to semi close and work the sides so So um, remember, even though you're, you're doing this, right, this is a safe zone. This is killing it. I mean, if you go this, you will burn this side. If your door is like this and you polish like this, this is, this is okay, all right? But this, this is, this is not good. This, you, you will definitely burn this side, all right? So um, after one pass, some improvements. Let me hit it again. Okay, so let's just say if you want to, this is done. Actually, this, this is not exactly done. I mean, the leveling is done, but then there are some tools. I will refine it later, but never mind. Uh, if you want to work this side, so I would open the door fully. All right. And do the same this side. Okay. Again, uh, don't go this way. Just keep it as parallel as possible with the surface.
Um, so the last tip for today is the care for the pad. So you, you don't want pad that is um, saturated with abrasive. So yeah, this 56 is a little bit um, a, a bit abrasive-y, whatever you call it. Uh, so um, in most pads, you can just wash and wring out, but then because it's a denim material, if you wash it, it's going to take a long time to dry because it's a cloth type material. So um, I prefer to just use a stiff nylon brush, which I have it here. All right, just, just um, scrub and remove most of the abrasive out. Yeah, something like that. So there you go, DA leveling without sanding. Now, um, a quick thing about orange peel. Basically, orange peel is a natural occurrence when you paint something. Um, very bad orange peel, however, however, has got to do with painting techniques. Uh, okay, I'm not going there. It's a whole topic to talk about. However, um, to get that razor flat, mirror-like image, um, leveling is necessary. It's not the easiest thing to do in detailing, but definitely the most satisfying. So do give this a try. And um, if you like this video, give us a like. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel um, for tips like this coming your way. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.